Hey guys, Debs here, bringing you a video on some creations I'm working on. And I haven't uploaded a video in a while, and I'm sorry about that. I've been busy and stuff like that, blah blah blah. I have a job, and I have a summer math class I'm taking. So I've just been a little bit busy, but that doesn't mean I haven't been working on LEGO creations. Now up here we have a Hieroglyph Zelda from A Link Between Worlds. And currently, I've hit a bit of a roadblock because her, um, uh, the lower portion of her dress, the best color would be, uh, light aqua, which is a very limited color palette in terms of pieces, especially slopes. Really, all I'll be able to use are cheese slopes and one-by-one -one plates, and I believe one-by-one -one tiles. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to order most of those pieces from Germany, so I probably won't get this creation done for a while. But I have it right next to um, uh, the hieroglyph link, just so you can see that they're roughly the same height. And I'm going to try to fit them in like a same frame. Or I'm going to try to fit Zelda into a same frame. So that they'll be the same size, and I think it'll, they'll look really good together. Next up, I have an almost finished creation. A Lego Yoshi. Um, I really like the new eyes from the... Mixel sets, I, I couldn't remember the name for a second. I thought they'd be perfect for Yoshi's eyes there. And it looks mostly done. In fact, it's only missing two pieces. Um, as you can see here, I need another crimson dark red 2x2 two two round tile. And around the saddle, there's a white outline, so I need to order a um, uh, roughly 3x3 three three white rubber band to fit around it. The largest I have is a 2x2, two two, and that just doesn't work. Which is unfortunate, so I need to order that and find the other tile I have. So, this is looking pretty good, and I'm also trying to make a little base for it, because it can't stand on its own, as you can see, he has a little cane down there. So I'm trying to make a base for him, which, it, it's not very far along, it's just kind of on my floor here. I'm trying to get it to look Super Mario World-esque, you know, with kind of the grass dropping down onto the dirt and I'm gonna have one of those hills with eyes in the background as you can see I'm working on it right now but I haven't made a lot of progress in the base because I don't have a lot of lime green pieces <sighs> next up we're gonna head over here where I'm working on a dragon yeah I really wanted to make a kind of big creation, and this is really hard to see due to the lighting, I'm not sure why, but I really cannot wait to finish this creation, I think it's, yeah, I hope, I hope it's going to be pretty big, I don't want it to be like ludicrous sized or anything, but I do want it to be fairly large, this is really my first time making a, a creature of such caliber, and I really like what I've done with the teeth, and the jaw closes mostly, you know, it doesn't close completely, but that's okay by me. Because it's going to have its mouth open, you know, like, roaring, like, you know, dragons do. So I'll put that back down over there. I'll try to get... There's a, there's a good shot of it right there. Better, better lighting. Now moving on back over here. We have a zombie I'm working on. And again, I really like the mixel eyes. Like, all, all three types of the mixel eyes. Or I guess there's four types, maybe. I think they're just awesome. And these, um... These eyes right here I thought would make great kind of gross out eyes for like a zombie. Like as you can see there, his eyes hanging out. Um, and I also used the mixel joints for the hands, which he only has three fingers. But I still think it looks pretty good. And um, I'm having a lot of trouble with the legs. So hopefully I'll have that finished pretty soon. And uh, the last thing I have is kind of, is kind of uh, a new and old whip. And sorry about this little leather handle getting in the frame there. But if you recall my first Lego Whip video, I had this creation in it. More specifically, this bottom part right here. Well, I've had that on my table for like a year. And I really want to do something with it because I just think I absolutely nailed the rock right there. I don't know why. I just absolutely love that rock. And so I'm trying to make a kind of floating city or castle or something and that th and hopefully it'll be really cool and here's the kind of deck that slides on into there i just recently ordered some 1x10 i'm um, uh, reddish brown plates because i need those to complete this 
And I don't have a lot of that piece, so I ordered like eight more of them or something so I can have not an entire half circle, but pretty close to a half circle. So hopefully I'll be able to come up with something for this pretty soon. I also really like the railing I have. You know, I'm using the Fisherman's rod right here. And onto that I fit a chain, which will hopefully wrap around onto these. And I, I hopefully it'll just kind of look like a, you know, like a floating city in the sky, but it's kind of like deteriorated a bit. You know, it's it's got some wear and tear, and I think it's gonna look really cool. And that's really all I've been working on. Um, I'm going to try to upload a Brickworld video, or at least of the Gamer Lug layout. And I was also interviewed on Beyond the Brick, which I'll probably post a link to that in the description. And finally, my um, uh, hieroglyph link over there got nominated for the Best Youth Creation. Unfortunately, I didn't win, but I still think it's really cool that they handed out these uh, runner-up things which they uh, haven't done previous years. And since this was my first nomination, I'm glad it was this year, so I actually have, you know, proof I was nominated. So, thank you all for watching, and I'm sorry for not uploading in a while.